with my husband Ben. I take you on a journey of Oriental cookery, Nancy style. Firstly, today I'm going to cook you three wise men. Prawns, pork, and chicken. Very special as a starter. This is a fairy tale story from my father when I was very young. That is nearly 50 years. The prawns can swim. The chicken can fly, and the pork can walk, and we could make magic out of it. And I'm going to cook this and pass it on to you. Ben is going to do the prawns. Take the shell off. You slit in the middle of the prawns, and you lift the vein out because it's very unpleasant to eat it. This prawn looks grey or light pink. It doesn't matter. When you cook it, the magic of the colour becomes really pink. And the freshness of the flavour of fresh prawns is out of this world. Well done, Ben. Let's marinate the prawns now. I'm pleased he's smiling now. <laughs> Woohoo! Let's get me, give me the pro. Oh, he spilled the pepper. Oh, wake up, darling. <laughs> you people think that I'm giving him a hard time, didn't you? Let's sprinkle some black pepper on it. Half a teaspoon, freshly ground. Next, he said corn flour. One flat teaspoon of corn flour. Just ordinary corn flour from any supermarket. That is a full two cloves of ready grind garlic and this lovely fish sauce you can get from any supermarket. Let's, it's a small hole. Let's get it come out. It's one tablespoon of fish sauce. Not too much. If you put fish sauce, don't put salt. It's salty enough and a tablespoon of oil we use the same look at my beautiful container let's get this one right zoom one tablespoon and we shall marinate this get this all marinated let me use the spoon as well we're going to Leave this for half an hour. Now we're going to do the next wise man. Once it starts swimming, we do one that walking, shall we? You need to cut the pork against the grain. This meat is so thinly cut and it's easy to season and it's easy to cook. Now we're going to marinate the pork. One and a half teaspoon of sugar, okay? Half a teaspoon of pepper. Corn flour. You know why I have to put corn flour? So that the pork gets moist as it shallow fry. And not too much of it. Coriander. One full teaspoon. And another half, that's been one and a half teaspoon. That is the soya sauce. One tablespoon, two tablespoons. And cumin with my teaspoon. Thank you. This is half a teaspoon of cumin. Cumin 
make the meat bitter. Where coriander make the meat better flavour. And what else? My chopstick and my oil. Thank you, my dear friend. He is not sleeping. I am not sleeping. One tablespoon of oil. That should be plenty. Now, we keep stirring it so that the meat can be what, Ben? The flavour penetrates. The flavour penetrates. He's speaking to me very nicely today. Oh, this meat is marinate about an hour if possible. This chicken got to cut across the grain as usual. You English people like to have a fish dish or a meat dish with three veggie. We don't mind to eat fish, pork and chicken in the same dish. We like to mix. Everything like to mix. Before we marinate the chicken, let's pound this coriander. And you can see this fresh coriander, freshly smell. Get the pound, get it lovely, get the flavour out of it. Yes, you see? You can smell it, you can't smell it. So you've got to do it, won't you? That's it, this is ready. Move this here, move this right here. Lovely. I'm going to put this in with my hand. Boom. Ben, are you still sleeping? No, no good. Pass me the chopstick first. Thank you. Ginger, one inch peel and freshly grind. Two cloves of garlic. Doesn't matter, it looks greenish, yellowish in the in the marinating. But you know when you start cooking it, the colour changes and lighten your heart. And what else? Corn flour. Yes, one teaspoon of corn flour. One flat teaspoon and black pepper, half a teaspoon of black pepper and sugar again. No modium sodium glutinate. Oh, one teaspoon, two teaspoon. That's it. And put a bit of grease, not on the elbow on the chicken. One tablespoon of oil. Let's get all this marinade now. Okay, this could stand for an hour. So I'm going to get my steak ready. I'm going to wash my hands and I'm going to show you how I'm going to skew it and I'm going to show you how am I going to cook it. and lean and the chicken goes straight through and look at the coriander all lovely all this is got to be skewed this way you can smell the marinated meat I can don't dream about it cook it try it now for all these meat are marinated we're going to put it on the griddle can I have some oil, please? Thank you. Just only a little, little oil. Just one, two, and three. That's fine. This is a very good quality. It's cast iron. It's very heavy. It's very, very hot when you have to cook this because once you put the meat on, it cooks. It really cooks, okay? We have to cook the pork first. Beautiful. Can you hear the sizzling? Can you hear the sizzling? It's beautiful. Chicken next. Thank you, Ben. 
He does help me, doesn't he? Oh, oh, can you smell it? Can you smell it, my sexy cameraman? He's not speaking to me today. You know why? Because I keep telling him he's lovely. So he told me that his wife is the one that's supposed to tell him that. Now, it's the prawn cooks very, very fast. And it cooks delicious too. You can use it in another way by putting it under the grill. Can you see the colour is changing? Ah, you see, even I'm a professional, the stick burn. Not only you, at home try it, can you see it? Oh, it looks lovely. Oh, it smells gorgeous. It doesn't matter when the stick is broken because it's easier to start it off with the long stick. Then when, you, when it breaks, you know, you know you don't burn your hand. Can you see the colour of the prawn? Oh, yum, yum. Lovely. This is the delicious three wise men cook now. And you can see it's beautiful. I'm going to ask my guests to taste it. Look, this man got no class. Doesn't mean that we've got to be like him. He doesn't eat fish. He doesn't eat prawns. I don't know what does he eat. That's all for him. Which one's the best prawns? Obviously prawns. I'm trying to stay with these people. Don't look at me. Your nose is too long. Cut it off. Blame my mother. This is called the three wise men. You know why is it called three wise men? There's three elements in this dinner. The earth, the sea, and the sky. <laughs> I'm just going to cook you this chicken called tamarind chicken, where it's a little village chicken from Bangka Island, where one of the little islands from Indonesia. tablespoon of oil and roll it round chicken thank you I used to chicken breast they okay, get it nice and brown every part of the chicken we use them because some people like it. only eat a little small piece of the wing and they chew and they chew and, and they keep on talking you know they're so happy for this little simple dish like that and then tamarind goes in you know that this tamarind is come from a big tree it doesn't grow in this country and it comes in a jar from a supermarket one tea, good teaspoon of black pepper this dish is so delicious. It's the taste of the tamarind, the, the sourness, the sweetness, and the pepper. And sugar, please. <laughs> Same as I'd like to put as much as I can. Two teaspoons, three teaspoons, three good teaspoons of sugar. And we got to put the stock now. Thank you. One large ladle of stock. If you've got no stock, use water. That's good. There. Yeah, lovely. Oh, yes. And let it boil. Keep the fire high so that it can reduce the stock by itself and the sauce will come naturally. Oh, before I talk too much, can I have the soya sauce first? Yes. Two tablespoons of soya sauce, that should be equivalent to this. You boil it for good 10 minutes, that should be enough. 
and you can see slowly the water reduce. It's reducing so rapidly. And you, can you time it? 10 minutes? Then we shall serve it. Let's put this right here. Oh, it looks lovely. I like the seats on because it gives a better flavour. People like to take the seats out, so it's just not on if you don't like it. At home, we just eat this with plain rice. Each one have a few pieces and you just enjoy your meal. But today, for you, I'm just going to garnish this. Lovely. cook you my griddle vegetables. That is another exciting and colourful dish. I'm going to cut carrots into a strip size. Yeah. And you can see how I cut my vegetable. They call it julienne strip. I use red onions because it's a bit more expensive, it doesn't matter, it tastes much nicer. And then the pepper, that's all I wanted. And a few cauliflower. few more here and that will do. Ben, are you ready for my seasoning? That's it. That's what I got here and this is all I'm going to cook you and I'm going to season it now. What can I have? Garlic powder. Lots of people don't use garlic powder. It's magic. Especially when you cook with meat. One teaspoon of garlic powder quarter teaspoon of turmeric and one good teaspoon of sugar. No modium sodium glutinate. And because of vegetables, I like to put a bit of salt to get the flavour out from the vegetables. Just only half a teaspoon of rock salt. That's it. <laughs> I'm going to use a bit of my fingers today. Make it a bit useful. You're going to grease me up, are you, Ben? There's two tablespoons of oil there. That's it. I'm just going to just give it a quick stir, okay? And we're going to fry it on this griddle. If you've got a grill, you can put it under the grill. So it uh, changes from boiling vegetables, stir-fry vegetable, steam vegetables. Try this method, you love it. Listen to it. And when the pepper fry, you can see the colour of the pepper go a bit brown. That's when the pepper get tasty and sweet. Delicious. You know why I cut this into julienne strips? When you fry it, it always looks better. Somehow it tastes nice. It's different from a bite size. You've got to fight with your lips to put it in. And look at this juice. Nothing is wasted. Can you see it? You're right in. Hey. You see?
Look at that. Look at that. Oh, the smell. Get me a chopstick. Pair of chopsticks. That will do. That will do. Thank you. Thank you. Can you see the brownness of it? Can you see it's getting brown? Whoa. Lovely. Oh, did something drop off? Yeah. Look at that. The fire should be very high for this vegetable dish because it doesn't lose, get rid of all the vitamins. The vitamin stays it in there. Another two minutes, it should be well cooked. I'm ready. Oh, this is lovely and hot. Look at that. Look at that fish. Oh, yum, 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 yum. Oh, my mouth is watering. Although it's a bit brown, some part of it, and the sweetness has come out of the vegetables, and the turmeric. Once you cook with turmeric, the smell of the turmeric, the garlic powder, the Chinese say, Mo Ding. Nothing can prevent you from eating. Well, well, well. And what is this, Nancy? You tell me what is it. I'll bring your rice and you make up your mind. Oh! Yes. Yes. Try that. Tell me. So these are what? These are mixed vegetables, peppers and carrots. Yes. It's lovely, actually. Try to have a bit of sauce with the rice and you get the good taste. We will, we will. Please enjoy your meal. If you don't like it, don't come again. <laughs> so I thought the chicken was good and tender. It takes some place very tender. It's fantastic. It was lovely. The presentation was wonderful. The colours of the vegetables, superb. Nancy was uh, very rude, tender. as I expected. <laughs> I would say that uh, Nancy certainly wasn't aromatic or tender. I love Nancy. Will you marry me, Nancy? <laughs> I hope you enjoy my cooking and all my three elements, the sea, the earth and the sky, and try to cook like me or better than me. Say goodbye, Ben. Goodbye, Ben.